the area A of a circle of radius R is given by, so as I say girls, there's now a story attached, but we're still going to differentiate. So area is equal to pi R squared. So instead of X and Y, we have area and R, right? So instead of X and Y, we have area and R, right? Okay, A and R. Find in terms of pi. By part 1, r is equal to 2, and part 2, r is equal to 6. Right, I'm just going to do some doodling for a minute, okay, so... Don't write anything for a minute. I'll get back to the sum in a minute. I'll just leave you finish taking that down and then I'll get back to the sum. Right, is it down? Can I take it away? Right. Okay, right. So, um, a while ago we would have... Don't write this down now. This is me just explaining. So if I... Um, a while ago I would have had something like this. And I would have said differentiate it. Right? When you differentiate it, what do we call it? Dy dx. Because look, you're differentiating y with respect to x, as in there's y on the left and x is on the right. Okay? So if it said s is equal to 4t squared minus 7t, what would you, when you differentiate that, what would you call it? You're differentiating s, so it's ds, with respect to whatever letters over here, what would you call it? GT, right? Okay. So if I had um, W equals uh, 7V cubed minus 7V, what differentiate that? What would I call it? DW, DV, right? Okay. So this is just what you call it. Okay. So it's you're differentiating that with respect to this letter over here. So that letter goes on top, the letter over here goes on the bottom. Right? Have we got it? Right. Okay. Back to my question. Right. So they say area is equal to pi r squared. Now, okay? Then they said find the rate of change. Now, the rate of change is another way of saying find the slope. Or it's another way of saying what? Rate of change is another way of saying what, what is this whole chapter about? Differentiate. differentiate. So if they say find the rate of change, girls, what are we knowing the rate of change means? What does rate of change mean? Differentiate. differentiate. Okay. So I'm going to differentiate. Right. Okay. Now, remember, pi is just a number. Pi is 3.14. So, like, pi could be, like, just a 3, or it could be a 7, or it could, right? So, pi is just a number. So, pi doesn't come into anything, right? Okay, I'm going to differentiate this. What do I call it? D, I'm differentiating. A, aren't I? And what's the letter over here? 
R. Oh. What is going on with this? Right? So I'm differentiating A with respect to R. Would you agree? Right? So differentiate here. Bring the power down in front, reduce the power by 1. So bring the 2 down in front. Pi just stays as pi, because pi is just a number. And reduce the power by 1. It was r to the power 2, now it's r to the power 1. Does everyone see that that's that differentiated? Yes. Right. Then part 1 says, find the rate of change when r equals 2. Put the 2 in for r. r. So instead of r, put in 2. So it's 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r. r is 2. So 2 by 2 is 4, and it serves the terms of pi. So that means don't bother multiplying the pi. So your answer is 4 pi. And part 2 said was when r was 6. So the same thing. Into that, everywhere I see an r put in a 6. So it's 2 pi by 6 which is 12 pi. And that's my answer. Is that okay? Well, that's both my answers. Okay. Example two. Can I take this away? There's many examples in the book, I'm just... Sorry. So a bath is filling with water. Again, don't worry about the story. What are we going to do when we get to the question? What are we going to do? Differentiate. Differentiate it, okay? The volume... Okay, find the rate of change of volume, right, when t equals 2. When you see those three words, rate of change, rate of change means you what? Differentiate. Okay, so you take volume, you take the equation they gave you, and you differentiate it. Now, don't get too hung up on what you call it, right, but what would I call it when I differentiate that? Dv 
to T. So you're differentiating V with respect to T. Right, differentiate. Differentiate over here, what I get? So what's going on with that? Differentiate over here, what I get? 6T plus 4. Okay? And then it's, you have to find this when T equals 2. So what I do now? Everywhere I see a T, put in a 2. So that's 6 times 2 plus 4 into the calculator that and you get 16. Okay? Is that all right? Okay, so, yeah, that we've learned nothing new today. Right, all we have is, before we differentiate, instead of saying differentiate, they're saying find the rate of change. Right? But we know that find the rate of change means differentiate. Okay? And I'll give you a list at the end of this, uh, in a... In a few minutes, maybe tomorrow, right, about when you differentiate. All the different things they could ask you and you differentiate when you read these things. Okay? Is that all right? Okay. That's pretty much that section finished. I had most of it done with the distance, speed, and acceleration. But that's the end of that section. So I'm going to go on to the next section. And guess what? There's nothing new in the next section either, except they're now attaching a story. Right, so instead of saying, find the turning points. Remember we did find the turning points a while ago? Right, instead of saying, find the turning points now, they're going to tell me about the bath filling with water. And they'll tell me, ask me what's the maximum, maximum uh, volume in the bath. Right, okay, you know, they're going to ask me stuff like, so this is going to be a story, right? But we don't care about the story, we just, cut the teeth, we differentiate, right? And remember, um, what's, the, uh, what's the rule at the turning point? It's not going to jump into your head. You're supposed to remember it, okay? So maximum value. Does anyone... So maximum, girls, remember, we talked about... I'm going to doodle now in a minute. I'm just doodling. Don't draw this down. Remember, we did turning points before so remember we if we had that this was a turning point is not that right if we had this this was a turning point right if we had a cubic equation we had two turning points is not that right there the turning points maximum or minimum turning point minimum because it's down low what about this one maximum what about this one max this one minimum right so these are the turning points okay now, they're not going to say the word turning point anymore. They're just going to say maximum or minimum, right? So if you see the words maximum or minimum, you know that they're asking you for what? What are they asking you for? Eh? Turning. turning point. And at the turning point... Yes, yes. Does anyone remember the rule? At the turning point, dy dx yeah, equals zero. So you get dy dx, you let it equal to zero, and you solve. Okay? And as I say, we're learning nothing new here. We're just attaching a story to what we learned how to do. Okay? So remember, at the turning point, dy dx equals zero. Right? So I'm going to go straight to an example. Is uh, built in the question now. So a farmer has 20 meters of fencing, right?
Okay, so basically we have a hedge and a hedge it this way. Okay, so he wants to fence off a corner, so he wants to put the fence in across here and down here. Is that okay? So he wants to put the fence in across there and down there. And I'm going to call this length X. And I'm going to call this length Y. How do I know to do that? They did it in the diagram for me. Okay, so they've given me this. Okay, so he's not fencing down here. This is a, a ditch and this is a ditch. So he just wants to fence over and down. Is that okay? Right. Can I move it up like that? Have I caught anyone off? Actually, no, I'm going to call it Y for a minute. I'm going back to Y, sorry. Don't change anything. Find this maximum area. Right, okay. So the word differentiation is not mentioned at all in here. Right, okay. So you have to be able to read these stories and recognize that I need to differentiate here. What's the key word here? What's the key word? What's the word that's going to trigger, make our brain say, oh, I need to differentiate? Maximum. maximum. Right, okay. So that's the word that's going to make you think, oh my God, I have to differentiate here. Okay? Right, so first off, we have to start with start part one. Right, okay, so I have remember, I'm going to go, I just draw it out again there so I can move it up. So I have a bit of fence going across here, which I called X. What do the two bits of fence have to add up to? And there's another bit of fence going down here, but they they need to add up to what 20. 20. How do I know they need to add up to 20? Because that's how much fence he has. Right, they told me that in the question, isn't it? So if this measures X, what does this one measure? They say, I said Y, but I'm going to change it to what? It'd be 20 take away X, isn't it? So imagine if that was 10, right? If this side was 10, what would this side be? The whole lot has to add to 20. So if this was 10, what would this be? 10. If this was 8, what would this be? 
12. If this was 15, what would this be? 5. So whatever side, whatever length this is, this is 20 take away that number. Would you agree? Okay, so that's where I, the x and the 20 minus x came from. Right? Agreed? Okay, so part 1 says, find the area. Right? So it's a rectangle. How do you get the area of a rectangle, please? Right, because he's got 20 metres of fencing, okay? Yeah. So he's going to put a certain amount here. He doesn't know how much, they call it X, right? So the bit that's left is going to be 20, take away that number. So imagine if he puts 15 here, this would be 5, wouldn't it? Yeah. So it would be 20, take away 15. If he put 8 here, this would be 12, wouldn't it? Because it would be 20, take away 12, okay? So if it's X, then this is 20 take away X. Is that okay? Because we don't know how much he's going to put there. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make this enclosure as big as possible. That's our, our ultimate aim. Right. So area. How, how do, what did I say area of a rectangle is, please? Length multiplied by width. Would you agree? Length multiplied by width. If I write that down, I've got marks, okay? So I learned area of a rectangle is length by width in primary school. So in my leaving search, I can get marks up with stuff I learned in primary school. Right? Okay? Right. So what's the length? What's the length of this, uh, the length of this rectangle? X. Multiply by the width. What is the width? 20 minus X. Agreed? So I need to multiply those. So multiply into the bracket, this is your algebra. So x by 20 is what? 20x. And x by x is? x squared. Right, so that's part one done, because look, they told me the answer. It says, show that the area of the enclosure is given by the formula, area equals 20x minus x squared, which is what I've written down here. Are we okay? Right, so part two says, for what value of x is the area of the enclosure at its maximum? So what does maximum mean? Maximum what? Maximum turning point, isn't it? Turning point. So they're looking for a turning point. So what's the rule for a turning point? dy dx equals 0. dy dx equals 0. So that means I need to differentiate my equation. And let it equal to 0. So let's differentiate 20x minus x squared. Differentiate 20x minus x squared. What will I get? 20 minus 2x. And what will I do with that now? Equals 0. So then it's a case of the x is on one side, numbers on the other. 20 is moving. Minus 2x stays. I differentiate it. Right, are you okay with that? Right, remember I'm in the differentiation chapter, so I'm definitely going to have to, and remember that on Friday, because I don't know how many times I give a differentiation test, even to leave it at higher level, people, last the week before Easter. It was a differentiation test, and some of them did questions, and they never differentiated. I was like, the clue was in the title, do you know? Okay, so don't be that person, please. At least differentiate for me, right? So x is on one side, number is on the other. 20 is moving, minus 2x stays put. 20 comes over and becomes a minus 20. There's a minus 2 stuck to the x, so divide each side by minus 2. And you end up with x is equal to 10. Because uh, maximum, the word maximum, who's talking, sorry, sorry. The word maximum immediately triggers, maximum is a turning point. And a turning point is dy dx. Okay, so these are the key words that will trigger, right, and I'm going to give you a list at the end of all the key words where the minute you see these words, you differentiate. Okay, is that right? Okay, so x is 10. Now, they want to know part three 
says, what is this maximum area? So can I go back to my diagram? I've just figured out that when x is 10, it's at its biggest. So when x is 10, what's the width? What's the width? 10. What's the area? 10 by 10 is 100. Or what you can do is go back to the original equation for the area, which is 20x minus x squared. But I've just figured out what x is. So what I do, everywhere I see an x, put in a 10. So that's 20 times 10 minus 10 to be squared into the calculator. That you'll get 100. So the area, the maximum area is 100. Okay. I'm not going to get time to do a second example today. So I'm going to, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, but well you don't need a unit in differentiation, so I'm leaving it off. Page 264, I want you to have a go at 1 and 3. So have a go, right, what we'll do is we'll put them into our copies as examples tomorrow, okay?